Welcome to today's most updated tree run farming guide for 1 to 99 farming. Today I'm going to take you through all of the tree patches in Old School RuneScape. And this includes some new patches that Jagex has introduced into the game with its ever expanding map. I'm going to break the video up into four different categories of trees. The first category being regular trees. There are six regular tree patches in the game. Lumbridge, Varrock, Faldor, Talvary, Tree Gnome Stronghold, and the Farming Guild. There are six fruit tree patches in the game. The Tree Gnome Stronghold, Catherby, the Tree Gnome Maze, Brimhaven, Lithia, and the Farming Guild. There are eight special tree patches, three found here on Fossil Island, one in the new area Locus Iois, one in Tai Bowanai Trio, one in Prefnidus, and two in the Farming Guild. And lastly, there are an additional five spirit tree patches, one in Andrana, one in Port Sarum, one in Brimhaven, one in Hesidius, and the last one in the Farming Guild. For the teleports for regular trees, I do suggest you bring a Lumbridge teleport, a Ver Varrock teleport, a Faldor teleport. One way to get to Talvary, you could use a Faldor teleport and just run north or use a house redirection scroll and put it to Talvary. One way to get to the Tree Gnome Stronghold, I'm using the Slayer Ring, or you could use your House Teleport if you have a Spirit Tree in there. And then the last, to get to the Farming Guild, again, I'm going to use a House Teleport to use my Spirit Tree to go to the Farming Guild. You, you could also use a Skilling Necklace. For the items, I do suggest you always bring cash with you. A spade, the best compost you can make, use, or buy. I am using the Bottomless Compost Bucket. And then six of the regular trees you will be using and any payment methods to go along with those trees. So starting off, I just teleport to Lumbridge. Run west through the castle here. And out the back of the castle. Here you will find our first tree. Check on the health if you have a tree planted here already. And then pay faith and she will chop it down for you for 200 gp and here you can use your next tree oh, sometimes the grass does grow in so do make sure you bring a rake or use one at the tool leprechaun if you have it stored there once raked do plant your next tree either put compost on it or pay the farmer the payment method used and the tree will never die Next, I like to go to Varrock, so just go to Varrock Square, run north into the castle grounds outside, and here you will find our second tree patch. Check it or rake it, pay the farmer next to it, and plant the tree again, and pay him to watch it, or put down compost. Next, we can head to Faldor, run east into the Faldor Park. This is our third tree patch. Once here, do the same thing and then head to Talvary or go back to Faldor and just run north. Once here in Talvary, right outside the main gate or inside the main gate, I should say, you'll find your fourth tree patch. Do the same thing here. And then we're going to head to teleport using my Slayer Ring. And we're going to go to the Stronghold Slayer Cave. And right outside here, just a little bit south, you'll find our fifth tree patch. Do the same thing here again. And then I'm going to teleport to my house and go to the spirit tree. And I will go to the farming guild. Tip to note for the farming guild here, if you do want to plant a regular tree, you do need 65 farming in order to access it. And it's here just west of the main entrance of the farming guild. And that is your six locations for your regular trees. Next up for the six fruit tree patches, I'm gonna be starting in the farming guild where we just left off because there is a bank here. Here I go from the farming guild to the stronghold, to the maze, and then Catherby, Brimhaven, and Lithia. As far north in the farming guild, you will find your first fruit tree patch. It does require 85 farming, so I understand not all of you have that. But if you do, you can enter here and pick your fruit. 
From here, you can use the spirit tree and then go to the stronghold, tree gnome stronghold. And just east of that, you can find your second fruit tree. Go ahead, do the same thing here. And then from there, you can go to the tree gnome stronghold and enter the maze and just squeeze out of the fence. And then just follow Elkioi and head south. And here you will find your third fruit tree patch just south of the maze entrance. Next, we can head to Catherby. So I'm going to bring a Camelot teleport. Once here in Camelot, just head south east towards the beach here you will find your fourth fruit tree patch and do the same thing here again with your fruit trees next i'm going to head to brimhaven so you can either use the charter boat or the redirection teleport scroll and redirect it to your house portal in brimhaven a little east and then north right around the pirates uh, i guess pirates living quarters you will find your fifth fruit tree patch. And then from here, if you have a teleport crystal and if you have completed morning, morning's end part one, you can teleport to Lithia. And from here, you just head a little east right outside the bank. And here is your sixth fruit tree patch. Now, since I ended my run here near the bank in Lithia, I'm going to be doing the special tree patches. So like I said, there's eight of those. I'm bringing all house teleports because it's the easiest way to access all of these using either the fairy rings or the jewelry boxes I have in my home. I'll show you that here. So for first, we're going to go to my house. You can also use the dig site pendant if you don't have it mounted on your wall. But I'm going to come over here and go to Fossil Island. I did forget to mention you should bring four hardwood trees with you, one palaquat tree with you. That's this one right here. A crystal tree, if you have a crystal acorn, you may not. A Celsius tree and a redwood tree. Once here on Fossil Island, sort of in the middle of the island, there are three hardwood trees. So go ahead and check on them or plant them as you wish. And you do get a nice chunk of XP when you're doing Mahogany, 15,720 to be exact. So after this, we're going to head to Locus Iolus, which is the new hardwood tree location. For this, I'm going to go to my house and then use fairy code ring AJP. You could also use the Quetzal flight transportation system. Once at the fairy ring, just head a little south. And you do have to complete the quest, the riveting tale of the lily pad labor dispute. Really quick and easy quest. And once you do that, you are granted access to use his hardwood tree patch for your fourth hardwood tree patch location. So go ahead and rake that and then plant your tree. Next, we're going to head to Taibo One Eye Trio. You can use fairy code ring CKR or head to Brimhaven and just head south. Here you have the only location for a qualet. Tree. That's what it looks like. Qual Quat tree. Don't know how to pronounce that. So go ahead and plant that one. Next, we're going to head to Priftinus. So I'm using my spirit tree in my house. Plant a crystal tree here. I do not have one, unfortunately, but here's the location for a crystal tree. If you do get a crystal acorn, you can plant that here. After that, I'm just going to go back to the farming guild using the spirit tree. You can also use a skills necklace. And here you can get a Celsius tree. Again, you do need 85 farming to access this part. So you can go ahead and plant that tree here and use payment. And then lastly, in the farming guild, we have the redwood tree, very large trees. You can go ahead and plant that here as well. And you do need 90 farming for this one. This is the perfect time to share with you our affiliation sponsor. If you love farming as much as I do, well, OSR's Bricks has fun little skill sets, including the farming skill set as seen here. Don't forget to use code TKT at checkout for 5% off your entire order. Thank you to OSR's Bricks.
And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and show you all five of the spirit tree locations. If you do have spirit seeds or spirit saplings, you can always plant these. I think it takes about five days to grow a spirit tree. Look it up if I'm wrong. The first location is in the farming guild. The second location is in Trana. You can use a ring of wealth and teleport there to miscellanea. Once here in miscellanea, you could just head east. And just south of the castle, outside, you will find your spirit tree, which is the second location. This is the second spirit tree location. So from here, you can teleport to Port Sarum. I am using my Explorer's Ring 4, and then just head a little bit south. And here's the third spirit tree location. The next one is in Brimhaven. You can bring a house redirection teleport and go to Brimhaven. This is the fourth location where you can plant a spirit tree. And the fifth location is in Insidious. You can use a skills necklace to teleport to the woodcutting guilds, which is the fastest way there. And so here it is, the fifth spirit tree location where you can plant a spirit tree. Thank you so much for watching, and no matter what anyone says, yes, do herb runs for GP, but you can also plant fruit trees for GP as well. So for each fruit tree you plant and then pick, you get six fruit off of that. So a dragon fruit, six of those is going for 7.5k. Six papayas right now is about 16k. Six pineapples is just under 1k. And six coconuts is going for 25k right now. So you can pick 25k per tree right now. Coconuts are going for just under 4,200 GP. Thank you all again so much for watching. If you did enjoy, do hit that subscribe button as it is the easiest way to support me.